You always have the strength to overcome whatever situation and circumstances that you're going through. Always. How can I say that standing flat footed boldly? How can I say that? Because the word of God says that the joy, that joy is a spiritual fruit. And spiritual fruit is not in seed form. You can partake from the fruit of joy anytime. You have that ability. It's just making a shift and having your soul snatch. Sometimes you gotta snatch your soul into obeying the word of God. Let's go to our proof text. Our foundation text is 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. Where are you guys going? Word Life Church is the place where you can connect, you can belong to a family, and you can grow in your kingdom assignment. That is so important. It's so important to know and understand that you're not alone in doing what God has called you to do. And it's also critical that you grow in your kingdom assignment. What has God called you to do? How do you grow in that? What gifts have been entrusted to you? How do you grow in that? It is, it is critical that we, that we know what our purpose is. We know what we're called to do and what our assignment is. One of the mandates on this house is that everybody who comes through here grows in their kingdom assignment. Now, you know without a shadow of a doubt, this is what God is calling me to do. This is, this is how God is calling me to do it, and this is who God is calling me to do it with. Critical that we know and understand that. Family, don't sleep on that revelation. Whatever you do, uh, 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 awaken to that truth. The word of God will make all the difference in your life. The word of God is not going to return void in your life. So important. Sometimes we can, we can get excited about the word of God and not apply it to our own lives. Joy is available. Look at somebody and give them a smile offering. Look at them real big. Give them a smile offering. You know, some, some, some takes place. You, you can't even do that without laughing. Something, something takes place. Why? Because joy is available. I believe, without, I believe with all of my heart that you are one encounter away from breakthrough. Whatever that need is, right, Max? Whatever that need is, it could be financial, it could be, it could be mental, physical, it doesn't matter. I believe you and I are one encounter away. One, all it takes is an insight. You know what? Everything changes when you hear God's voice. Everything changes. A complete shift is available. Family, you can live in a reality that is based on kingdom principles. The reason why we are word life is because we believe the life that you see in the word of God can be yours. Look at your neighbor and say, if you see it in the word, you can have it in your life. That's so critical. Last week, we looked at the power of thoughts. We learned that thoughts are the basis of your reality. We looked at Proverbs 23, 7. It says, for as he thinks in his heart, so is he. We saw that thoughts are producing the images that are shaping your life. Your current condition is a result of your inner image. What you think about, you ultimately bring about. Your self-talk is building your life. It's so critical. We know and understand that. We also learned that your voice is manifested thoughts that are governing your results. Thoughts become words that go into your future and begin to create. We looked at Matthew 12, 34, and it says, out of the heart, the mouth speaks. Your actions are visual demonstrations of what's inside of your heart. We also said that the atmosphere around you comes from the atmosphere within you. 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 17. I'm going to read this out of the Amplified. It says, therefore, if any person is engrafted in Christ, the Messiah, he is a new creation, a new creature altogether. The old previous 
moral and spiritual condition has passed away. Behold, the fresh and new has come. Family, let the newness of life empower your walk. Does everybody have notes? Raise your hands if you don't have notes. If you don't have notes, raise your hands. Oh, yeah. Did, did somebody not make enough notes? <laughs> Who's responsible for that? Oh, that's, that's me. <laughs> my, my apologies. Uh, we, we do have a church app, and the, and the notes are, are on the app. So if you, if you have the church app, give your notes up. And I'll talk to my people to, to make sure we get some notes next time. Family, the, in order to be effective as a new creation, we must change the inventory of thoughts that we pull from. Please hear that. We have an opportunity to pull from an inventory from the old dead files, or we can pull from the inventory of the word of God. Your new created being is looking to you to feed it the right source. You're no longer digging up lifeless thought patterns of the past. You're no longer living from that dead perspective. New creation realities is you and I coming into the, the, the knowledge of what we truly have. If we had a clear understanding of how good God is, we would never go a day without thanking him. We'll never go a day without thanking him for his goodness, for, for, for what he's done, for what he's brought us through. 2 Corinthians 5, 18, still in the Amplified, it says, But all things are from God, who through Jesus Christ reconciled us to himself, received us into favor, brought us into harmony with himself, and gave us the ministry of reconciliation that by word and deed, we might aim to bring others into harmony with him. The ministry of reconciliation belongs to the body of Christ. Reconciliation is bringing people into harmony with Jesus Christ. Look at your neighbor and say, that is your responsibility. And that's so important to know and understand. The, the word reconciliation, reconciliation means the restoration of friendly relations. It also means the action of making one's view or belief compatible with another. When our view or our belief becomes compatible with Jesus, we begin to see ourselves the way Jesus sees us. We begin to see others in the body of Christ the way Jesus sees others. There is no such thing as a body without multiple members. It's critical the way you and I interact with one another. If any of us lost a limb, it would affect the whole body. If you lost a body part, it will impact you. The members of the body of Christ will always be the head's priority. Jesus Christ is the head of the church. Jesus Christ never intended for the body to be headless. It's critical to know and understand this, family. We're talking about new creation realities. What is the reality of what took place when you and I said yes to Jesus? There is power available. There is supernatural insight. There is, there is miraculous power available because you said yes to Jesus. It's critical that we know and understand that. Family, what Adam lost in the fall, Jesus restored in the resurrection. We don't lack anything. We have what we need to live victorious lives. Come with me to Luke chapter 1. We'll look at verse 16. We're going to look at the New American Standard Bible for this verse. Jesus is looking for his body to continue advance in the kingdom. You are very important to that assignment. Don't look at your neighbor and say, don't malfunction. 
Don't give up. Don't give in. Whatever you do, we need you. We need you. Luke 1, 16 says, And he will turn many of the sons of Israel back to the Lord their God. It is he who will go as a forerunner before him in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the fathers back to the children and the disobedient to the attitude of the righteous, so as to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. That's the mandate, to make ready a people for the Lord. Now, this text is talking about John the Baptist preparing people for, for, their, for the Messiah's coming on the scene, being revealed. How do you know Jesus is coming back? Hey, there's eight of us? I don't know what that percentage is, but it would be my goal to convince all of us that Jesus is coming back before we're done. I believe because Jesus is coming back, it is critical for the body of Christ to make ready a people that is prepared for the Lord. So important to know and understand that we have to be set on getting our houses in order. We have to be set on helping our fellow brothers and sisters, to get their house in order? How do we make ourselves ready? So critical. Word Life Church exists to make disciples, to make believing believers ready and prepared for the coming of the Lord. Ephesians 4, 11 talks about corporately attaining unity and knowledge that causes us to mature into the fullness of Christ. Let's go ahead and go there. Ephesians chapter 4, verse 11 through, through 16. I'm going to read out the New American Standard. Ephesians 4, 11. Where are you guys going? It says, and he gave some of, as apostles and some as prophets and some as evangelists and some as pastors and teachers for the equipping of the saints for the work of service to the building up of the body of Christ. Let's pause right there. Why did he give the five-fold ministry? The only reason there is a five-fold ministry is to build up the body of Christ. And this is the purpose. Verse 13 says, until we all attain to the unity of the faith and the knowledge of the Son of God, to a mature man, to the measure of the stature which belongs to the fullness of Christ. Man, if the fullness of Christ is flowing in you, you know what's not flowing in you? Sickness, disease, anxiety, depression, stress, strife. If you and I get to the point where we lean on one another and we allow the work of God to impact each and every one of us, the junk can't get in. What God desires is for the body of Christ to begin to flow, advancing a kingdom and pushing back the darkness. It's not right for kids to think I can be a boy. If I'm a girl, it's not right for kids to believe that God made a mistake. It's not right for the kingdom of darkness to cause mutilation and confusion. Man, my heart was broken. There's a young lady I trained for years. And I recently saw she's identifying as a boy now. It broke my heart. I just began to weep. I thought, God, how did he get in? How is this taking place? Who's on watch? Amen. Family, we got to stand up for righteousness and say what is good, what is God, what is right, what is wrong. 
We have to stand up and let it be known. That is not of God. That is evil. That is wicked. And we have a part to play. It's twisted like, oh, you're mean if you speak truth. What? No, I'm a follower of Jesus Christ and I speak truth because it's the only thing that's going to cause freedom to arise in the land. Family, we have to commit to truth. We have to commit to truth if we want to see freedom where fear is now. God, it's not over. Don't throw your hands up. You do have a part to play. You can do something about it. Don't fall into the lie of you're being mean because you speak truth. Verse 14 goes on to say, as a result, we are no longer children tossed here and there by waves and carried about by every wind of doctrine, by the trickery of men, by craftiness. You know, the craftiest individual ever created is still being crafty. In deceitful scheming, but speaking the truth in love. I love you too much to let you think you can be a boy when God made you a girl. I love you too much to think that you can embrace sin and iniquity and be okay. The truth is there is a cliff that you're going full speed ahead to. And I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I'm, I'm jumping up in front of you. Don't stop. Stop. That's how we tell the truth in love. Love them enough to tell the truth. Verse 16 says, from whom the whole body being fitted and held together. By what every joint supplies according to the proper working of each individual part. I need four people to come up here real quick. Four people to come up here real quick. In order for, I'm going to have you face this way. And you link arms, link arms, link arms, link arms. The, the scripture says, from whom the whole body being fitted and held together by what every joint supplies. If Tim decides to go right, Jonathan decides to go front, forward, Josiah decides to sit down, and Rachel de decides to go left, are they working and functioning properly as the body? No. So critical. It says, according to the proper working of each individual part. Each individual part have to make up in their mind that the way is narrow. Yes. Yes. It's in front of me. Each one of them have to make that decision. Now take a step forward in unison. Take another step forward in unison. Family, we need to do what we're called to do to make sure our part, our individual part is contributing to the corporate purpose of the body of Christ. Have a seat. Thank you. Give them a hand. Every joint matters. Every joint matters. Every individual part has a, has a part to play for the advancing of the kingdom. When I was studying this, this came to me. We, we need to have a call to arms. A call to arms. And I was like, Lord, what is, what is, what are you saying? And this is what he gave me. This is the call to arms. Anointed. Real, mature servants. God is calling on those of us to make a decision to be anointed, to be real. Dear God, be real. If we are not 
authentically ourselves, we are not fooling anyone but ourselves. Make the commitment. I'm just going to be who God made me to be. I'm going to commit to being real, mature, growing in the things of God, and servants. Be a servant. Com commit yourself. You know, if you want to be great, serve. Jesus was an awesome representation of what greatness looks like. Raise your hand if you want to be great. Serve. If we don't walk in unity and teach others to do the same, we will commit to being a powerless church. 1 Timothy 4, 1 and 2 says, Now the Spirit expressly saying that in latter times some will depart from the faith. Are we seeing that now? Giving heed to deceiving spirits, are we seeing that today? And doctrines of demons. Verse 2 says, speaking lies and hypocrisy and having their own conscience seared with a hot iron. Family, as the body of Christ, there is a, 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 there's a, a, a moment in the battle where we need to a, adjust our strategy. A seared conscience is not hearing words. The very initial hearing from God comes through our conscience. If our consciences are, are, are seared, if 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 people's consciences are seared, the initial way to hear God has been cut off. And if we're simply talking at someone and their, their, their conscience has been seared, are they going to hear you? A seared conscience ignores right from wrong. A seared conscience gets caught up in thinking, I feel this way, I must be this way. I feel like a girl today, so I'm going to mutilate myself. I'm going to take some drugs to counter what God put in me. A seared conscience will go down a dark path and not have any insight of that path. What's the answer? Demonstrate love. Demonstrate power. Allow the life and the love of God to manifest everywhere you go. A person who is so confused is full of pain. A person who thinks God got it wrong is hurting. How do we love on them? How do we allow God to flow through us to touch them? John 10, 10, let's go there, amplify it. John 10, 10 says, the thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have and enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. The abundant life is for you to flow through you. If, if life doesn't flow through you, it's not abundant. What God is trying to get to you, he's trying to get through you for a lost and hurting, dying world. 
The thief is out to steal identity. The thief is out to kill the helpless and the innocent. The thief is out to destroy families, bodies, destinies. Let's skip down to our application. How do we walk in power? How many of you are interested in walking in power? And it's, it's, the only, it's the only way to reach a lost and dying world. You know, this is not going to do it. If, they're, if their conscience is seared, it's bouncing right off. It's bouncing right off. Demonstration. Sunday. The, the, the God, the, 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 the call on your life from God has been overshadowed by trials and, 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 and tribulations. God wants you to know that what he's called you to accomplish, he will accomplish through you. Uh, allow the, the, the still small voice to penetrate every adversity, and God's going to begin to use you in a great and powerful way. Sunday, step, stand to your feet. Let's all agree with that word. You need to hear that. You, you, you need to know and understand that God has not forsaken you, and you are critical for the advancing of the kingdom, for the bite of Christ. Let's stretch, stretch our hands toward Sunday. Father, we agree with that word. We yield right now and we release our faith on behalf of your daughter. Father, we believe in the name of Jesus that everything you put on the inside of her is manifesting clarity. The images that she's attaching to are from you and you alone. Father, I'm praying and declaring that that your voice is the loudest voice that she hears in the name of Jesus. Amen. In application, uh, how to walk in power. Number one says, don't pray in unbelief. Don't pray things like, God, we ask that you come and be with us today. How many of you ever prayed that before? I remember, oh, Father, I'm asking you to come. Come here. Come and be with us. Well, his word says that he will never leave us or forsake us. Don't pray prayers of unbelief, first and foremost. Lord, if it be your will, heal me. Wait a minute. The scripture says, by his stripes, by his stripes, he made provision for healing. Don't pray. Unbelief, first and foremost. Number two, don't let your senses dominate you. The spirit world is the parent world to the physical. The spirit world is the reason why we have tangible anything. The example I, I love is there are sound waves. There, 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 are, there, are, there are waves going on here right now that we cannot see. And if we were to turn a radio on and tune it to our favorite station and the music begin to play, do you realize that music didn't begin playing when you turn the receiver on. The, the sound waves were already being broadcast. They were all, you just tuned in. The spirit world is waiting for our interaction. So important. God has already blessed you. Your healing has already been broadcasted. Your deliverance has already been broadcast. Your financial breakthrough has already been broadcast. Tune in to his still small voice. The frustration of, am I ever going to find somebody? 
God wants you to know the, the answer is yes. You work on your relationship with the Lord, and he'll work on you being found. Thanks for joining us today. We hope that you picked up what God had in store for you. And if not, feel free to rewatch and definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel and be on the lookout for future content. We are so excited to see what God has in store for you. And we'll see you next time.